Fashion before was probably just a, a face. As I grow through it, I definitely have found that, that this is the person I am, how I dress, how I present myself. This is, this is my passion, this is what I'm growing into. I know um, the look I'm going for now or what I'm capable of doing and, and I only want to get bigger. I'm MJ Whalen and I'm a couture fashion designer. I'd say in high school, I started designing my own jeans um, and just kind of like embellishing different things. I kind of got a um, good feedback. It definitely goes for a certain crowd and I definitely did sell some, but it's a different, it was a different type of um, look. I like going into a place and having to look for a good find or like something like that and anything that I want is kind of like in a weird way they always have something that I need. Vogue is definitely, definitely um, a key ingredient to all of my, all of my designs, everything as well as Action Peak. Front to cover, that, that magazine comes in, I'm like good for the day. I mean that is what I do. The commercial shoot, yes. Um, I'm really glad that I got dressed and ready for the event because I wasn't sure that I was going to be in it. That that's going to be interesting. It was definitely going to be. It was fun though. It was fun. It was a different thing for me to do, and it was just a step in the right direction. Always getting my face out there. Jennifer Noah, who I've been working with, the event planner. She is always searching, going through different girls that she knows. I think of a show months before it even happens. So I'm working on a show before anyone even has any idea that it's even going to happen. By the time I come to MJ, the designer, I already know like exactly what, you know, what needs to happen. By the time I go to the dancers and the models at the very, very end, you know, it's already replayed in my head so many times, it's gonna be perfect. So it's really girls who we know who don't mind crazy, don't mind things being draped on them, you know. Um, it's, it's definitely not your typical runway show, for sure. I mean, you're going to have something on your face, you're going to have something on your back, something, somewhere. So whenever I do get a good group of girls, I stick with them. And I know I get a vibe, you know, we work together, they can't wait, they're like my biggest fans, they can't wait to see what they have to wear. or anything like that. Like that just makes me keep going with what I'm doing because they're very supportive. They're very like, we'll wear anything, what do you mean? And I do, I keep the girls that are good with me. I think that she is doing something that's a little bit more creative than what everybody else is doing. She's stepping outside of the norm. I think she's great. Um, anybody that breaks the box is okay with me. I have never seen anyone put so much creativity into their designs. You know, anything's different is good especially in Pittsburgh. I think it's awesome that MJ is making a name for herself. I think that they um, like me as a person and I love them as a person as well. And um, also as my model, who is just always with me, the, my biggest fans, my biggest fans. Oh, Casey again. I cannot say enough good things about that girl. I go to her with anything. I tell her ideas, she elaborates, I mean we talk about clicking, me and her have been friends since 10 years old though. I've known MJ forever. I mean she's just always really into fashion and even the pieces individually have just grown so much. You can really see like her style throughout it but you can also see like how she's sort of like changing and like how outside things are beginning to like influence her. And she's my assistant for every show that I have. Um, I hope one day I can hire her because I cannot lose that girl. Like you will literally never meet anyone like MJ.
I went to Mercyhurst College for about two months, um, but I was also in the um, fashion merchandising program because that's what I thought I wanted to do. I, once again, like I was only designing um, jeans, so I didn't know what I was going to do yet. And but I was, I knew that I wanted to be in that type of a field, so that's where I went. My first class that I had um, was very interesting because as soon, you know, the teacher brings everybody in and says, you know, why do you want to be here? And everybody is explaining, well, I love fashion. What do you mean? No, this is really what I want to do. They have no idea. None of them have any idea what they want to be doing right now. And you're telling me that you're, you want to be in fashion because you love it. So, but I was in the same boat. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was still sitting there like, hmm, you know, is this what I want to do? And in the fourth year, they would send you to New York. So that's really why I did the program. Um, but our, the main lady came in and she said to everybody in the class, now class, I want everybody to know that none of you will be a designer coming out of this class. I was like, what? I'm like, wait a second. I think that's exactly what I want to be. The fact that you just told me that I couldn't, that's what I want to do. I came home because um, of my daughter. Um, she's four and a half now. I came home, you know, to raise her and to be around my family, help me as a single mom. It was hard. I mean, it's not an easy transition by any means. Single mom, are you kidding? Plus doing, like, designing? Insane. It's insanity. She's funny. She's with me 24-7. Everywhere I go, she's with me, getting things at the Home Depot, Ceraznik's, Accentique. She's like, are we seriously going there again? Yeah, one of those. A head piece. Like, a head. Whether she's playing Barbies and I'm sewing next to her, trying to, like, get last-minute things ready, it's... She's always there. She's always there. With a kitty, is that a real kitty? Oh my gosh, a cat with the guitar. My mother helps me with everything. She helps me when I need a show. She helps me when I have a show. Ella, you know, stays with her. Um, they're always there for me. I don't know what they would do without that girl. I like this. Why? Why do you like those? They're pretty. It's not just me, and it's never me in any of this. It's both of us, and that's how it's going to be. I mean, she is she is my main motivation for all of this, to be, give her a good life and make sure that she's set. Do you have makeup on? Yes, I have makeup. We're going through a little a little thing right now where she wants to put on whatever she wants. She wants to pick out her own clothes, whether it's a purple striped pants and black and green shirt, whatever it is, she wants to wear it. And I'm having a little bit of a panic attack about it, but you know what, honestly, it is. She is her own person, and nobody will stop that. And I, do, I for sure do not want to stop that. Yes, walk out and dance, see what we were wearing, like what was on the dress. I remember we met at Jay's, me and Jen Noah, and she wanted me to do this event. And she met me and wanted me to do this, so we met. She asked me to do 40 looks, 40, and I am a pass out. I went home and I'm like, I know I have to do this, but 40? I never even, I didn't even sleep that night. I didn't even sleep. I'm like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do it? Models plus changes, I mean, insanity. But I knew that that was like my next step, my biggest step. That was the hardest, but it was also the first, you know, of, of how many that I've had in Pittsburgh that just helps me grow and really is just so, so funny to even look back on and say like, oh my gosh, yeah, I did put tree branches on the back of that girl and almost knock all their lights over and oh, it was insane. But it was a good, open, final, like, this is me. This is it. 
I love doing shoots with Jordan. Yeah, I like it. I like that a lot better. And then maybe like even one like leaning down. MJ's cool working with because she'll take like random antiques or whatever and make stuff out of it, whereas everybody else will like buy something and paint it or like just cut it up. Uh, I knew no matter what that that was the look that I was going for. So that's why I brought Jordan in. Me and him click very well. He knows exactly what I mean. I don't have to say it, we just click. And he knew, he knew that it was awesome too. I liked it because uh, I've never really done anything like that before. I really feel like, I don't know who Gaga's designer is, but she's right there with her. I think in like two years, she'll be making the same kind of stuff. what a fashion show is. I mean, no one gets to see behind the scenes and and it is, it is behind the scenes. It is fun. Yes. <laughs> and you'll be in World Magazine? Yes. <laughs> it's thrilling. Okay, take it off so that I can cut the scoop of the neck. Yeah, Quinn has so much done, I think we should give that to her. Of what size it was gonna be, yeah. so I can fix it. It's that when that first model walks out after something broke on her outfit that you just fixed, it's like, wow, you know, that, made it work in two seconds. There was a guy that came in the back after and was like, perfection, perfection. And he just made me feel so good about it after, like to come back and really like love, love it. Like be on front, front row and just really love the entire show it was really nice to have. He said a quote um, in the article, like, like I, I'm not afraid of anything. And it's so true. I'll do anything. <laughs>